we just came out of the theater from Spectre, the newest James Bond movie, and we're getting brake lights in my face. Yes! Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> um, yes. This was a good movie, not on the same level as Casino Royale or even Skyfall, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, it was entertaining. Uh, I will... S well, what do you think? Why? Um... Uh <laughs> she actually did seem uh, to enjoy it for the most part. Um, anyways, I would say, like, the beginning and the end of this are strong. And then there's... All the action sequences are great. Um, I actually just watched Skyfall last night, uh, working on the video for it. And I realized that movie does not have particularly good... Does not have a great script. It's It's a fine... It's a fine to good script, but it's not a great script, but it's really, really well executed. Speaking of scripts, I'm making a script for my ABC topic book about Asian elephants. Yes, she is. My animal for, for, the, for the Cincinnati Zoo field trip. Yep. We already went there. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering about our homework. But anyways, uh, this movie, uh, Spectre here, is not... It's the same thing where it's really well executed. The script is not as strong as with Skyfall, though. Um, it drags a fair bit, especially in the middle around the action scenes. The beginning, I actually really enjoyed. The beginning, to me, felt like a Sean... You're tired? No, my foot is. Oh, okay. The beginning feels like a Sean Connery Bond film, except done with, uh, in modern times, obviously, with Sam Mendes and uh, Daniel Craig. And I was really getting into it. I was like, well, this could be great. Uh, but then, uh, then it drags a lot. Um, and, uh, yeah, the action scenes are great. Um, pretty much don't go in there hoping for something as good as Skyfall or Casino Royale. Just go in there hoping for a fun James Bond movie, and you, you'll do okay. Um, this isn't, you know, like I said, this is this is good James Bond. This isn't great James Bond like we've been getting recently with the Daniel Craig stuff. This is just solid. Um, I'm trying to think of like a James Bond movie I'd put this in the same league of. I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, I, I would definitely consider GoldenEye better than this possibly even Goldfinger and License to Kill I'd consider better than this. But this is still good. This is still solid. Um, do we want to go into spoilers? Because there are definitely spoilers we could discuss on this one. Of course! Alright. Spoiler. One what? That he... Um... James Bond falls in love with a girl that's younger than him. <laughs> he always does. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... I this was. Know he always did that. This... But he definitely did in this movie. Yeah, yeah. She, well, she did. She definitely looked younger than him. It was really noticeable in this one. Usually, it's yeah. usually pretty noticeable, but this one it's like pretty bad. Um, yeah. Still a lot better than Roger more than Roger's Tanya Roberts in *A View to a Kill*. I'll give it that. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, oh yeah. Spoiler. Um, Christoph Waltz. I probably should have put this in the main review. Christoph Waltz does not have a big role in this movie. I meant to say that. He really doesn't. Um, and he's totally Blofeld, which I think is lame. Um, essentially, it's just, it's just like Khan in Star Trek Into Darkness. They aren't being sneaky. They're just essentially lying and hoping you don't catch on. Even though the character's doing everything you'd expect that character to do, they're like, oh, no, it's not that character, and it actually is. Um... And he's not in the movie a whole lot. He gets second credit, but he's really not in the movie all that much. And it's not like Silva, where you feel his presence, and then he's introduced, and then he's this dominating force. He's just not there. And it that's part of what, the drag. He's just not there. Uh, you get uh, uh, the guy who plays Drax the Destroyer. He's awesome in this. Um... He's there a fair bit, but he doesn't have that omnipresent feel. He's just a danger when he's around. When he's not around, you aren't all that concerned. Uh, and, you know, that that's kind of what you got with Silva. Silva wasn't around for the first half of uh, Skyfall, but you felt his presence 
in like almost everything. Um, not so much here. Uh, and actually, you really should get that presence with Blofeld. Um, Another thing. Yeah. Every time that w that bad person sees James Bonds, he says, "Cuckoo." <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, he doesn't have a big role, but Christoph Waltz does do a great job in here. We get to see the origin story of Blofeld Scar. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I guess the Donald Pleasant version of Blofeld there. Scar. The bad guy got a big scar and a little white eye. Mm -hmm. It was creeping me out. Yeah, even though there's only one Blofeld that I can think of off the top of my head that actually has that scar, uh, the Donald Pleasant one. But that was the best Blofeld, so. Sure. <laughs> Uh, what, was there anything else? Oh yeah, the ending. They they don't kill off Blofeld, which I felt was kind of weak. It didn't feel right. I mean, I get the sense, I totally, they wanted to end this, so they didn't want Bond, they wanted Bond to walk away from his uh, Just to tell you, mission. I'm okay with that scar, but that eye, <laughs> it's creeping me well, out. That's what Blofeld's eyes like, and uh, well, at least in You Only Live Twice. Um... It didn't feel natural for the character um, to just let this guy live after all he's done. And they do I link him. I to tell you, I don't really know how he got that scar, but I don't think I'm going to want to. The watch it. bomb. The watch bomb. Yeah, remember that? She threw it at him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how he got it. Um, oh, man, something popped in He my said that the only thing he could do was tell time. <laughs> yeah, he, he was fibbing. He asked what he could do. And, well, he just said, it tells them. Mm -hmm. But uh, they link... <laughs> and I bet he, and he knows it tells them. He's just asking, can I do anything else? Mm -hmm. But they do reveal in this movie that uh, Le Chief, Mr. White from Casino Royale, Silva from Skyfall, and um, Green from Quantum of Solace are all, we're all members of Spectre, although they keep the Quantum of Solace references down as low as possible while still keeping it relevant. And then, uh, of course, Casino Royale and uh, Skyfall, those references are played up heavy. Um, How come every time in the movies when the car bumps into something, there's this big thing that comes into their face? It's the airbag. What's the airbag? It's for protections. That way, if you're in a car accident, that's supposed to cushion you. But they just use it as a joke. But, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, uh, we're just going to start repeating ourselves. I can't think of a whole lot more to say. Repeating this... ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to repeat, repeat ourselves. Repeating ourselves. We will be repeating ourselves. Repeating ourselves. We will be repeating ourselves. We will be repeating ourselves. We will be repeating ourselves. <laughs> we will be repeating ourselves. Get it? Get but yeah, it. this is this is a this is a solid Bond film, not a great one. Um, okay, if you're a fan of the franchise, absolutely check this out. If you like the Daniel Craig Bond films, check this one out. Not as good as Casino Royale or Skyfall. <laughs> Just gonna warn you straight up. But it's good. Any any final thoughts? Um, repeat. <laughs> Before we repeat ourselves. <laughs> repeat. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 